Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Modified Tile Bag and Board Scrabble. In today's video, I'm going to be taking on Quackle Speedy Player in a game where there are zero bonus squares. So it's going to be the complete opposite of the game I played recently, where every single square on the board was a quadruple word score. In that game, we saw plays worth tens or even hundreds of thousands of points. It was absolutely wild. It was an awesome game, so be sure to check it out if you haven't yet. I'll put a link in the description below. But as for today, I expect we're going to see much lower scores and probably scores below what we typically see in regular Scrabble. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're first, and we have a lousy rack, to say the least. Probably have to exchange here, I would imagine. There's uh, really not a lot of options if we don't exchange. I mean, I could play something like you or Vug. All these plays are going to score very little, though. So Vug, for instance, would normally score 14. Here it's only going to score 7, because this star, like all the other squares, is now not a double word score like it normally is, it's just a regular square. I guess there's also Ivy for 9, but G-O-O-U is so bad. And I feel like bingoing in this game is probably even more important than in regular Scrabble, just because the 50 point bonus is going to outweigh any play you could make without a bingo. Sometimes in a regular game you'll see plays like QI for 64 that score just as much as bingos. That's never going to happen here, because there are no premium squares to double or triple your power tiles. So big overlaps in this game are going to score maybe 25, 30 points tops. So I think it's going to be very bingo heavy in terms of the scoring. So I'm going to trade, honestly, I think I'm going to trade seven. There's really no tiles here that are good to keep for bingo percentage. And yeah, I'd rather try all out for a bingo than score nine points and keep G-O-O-U. And it looks like Quackle is thinking similarly. Quackle trades five. And I kind of think I'm going to trade two. Like in a regular game, I'd probably play Ganef because that would score 26 points since the F is on a double letter and the G is on a double word. But here it only scores nine. So that's almost certainly not worth it over just trading FN because Anger is a really good leave for bingoing. I could play Fang, but for eight points, again, Anger is going to bingo a lot more often than ENR, and bingo percentage is definitely at a premium this game. Those 50-point bonuses are going to be the best way to score any reasonable number of points. So I'm going to trade two. And Quackle makes a play. Unfortunately, I drew the Q, so I think that's going to be a pretty quick Q drop. It keeps a great leave of danger. So yeah, not much else to really consider here. And Quackle plays Mafia for 14. I will be bingoing here. I have groaned. And it will play here. It scores decently, I guess, for a bingo. That'll be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 67. So that's not bad. It's definitely better than Organdy through the I. Organdy is only going to score 60. Generally in this game, overlapping is going to be the best way to get points. Because... Without any actual premium scores, at least this way, whatever tile you overlap, you effectively get double the value because you'll get points for it both ways. You're just not going to get a lot of points for playing words through tiles already on the board in this game. So yeah, this looks pretty good. And Quackle responds with Brainiac, so a nice counter bingo. And the score is still very close. I draw pretty well here. The J is a little bit annoying, though, as I do, as I mentioned, really want to try to bingo as much as possible and as quickly as possible. So, job site, unfortunately, not a word. I wonder if that will be added at some point. You have all those online job sites like Indeed and Glassdoor, not to mention several others. I do wonder if that will be good as one word in some future update, but in any case, it is not now. So, probably job. Whoops. Yeah, just job here, I think. 19 points, that's not, 19 is not a bad score in this game. Like, 19 in this game is probably equivalent to at least 30 in regular Scrabble, I would imagine. So, yeah, job here seems fine. I mean, I don't see a way to score a lot more points, let alone keep nearly as strong a leave. So let's do that. Quackle plays plus, and I have tiniest, and I guess I can, oh, I can play it here. That's cool. And normally I'd probably be hesitant to play this as it exposes a lot in what it's normally a triple line here. Normally there'd be several triple word scores in this O column. Here, though, placement like doesn't really matter. You never have to worry about premium scores, which is kind of nice. 
This probably scores... Yeah, does this score more than with Brainiacs around the 12th throw? Let's see. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 23, 73. That's definitely more than playing with Brainiacs. Is it more than playing here? That's 68, I believe. Yeah. I don't see a good reason to play it here for five less points. I mean, defense in this game mostly... Whoops, not there. Mostly consists of... Bingo lines, and how many bingo lines there are. Scoring spots are not a thing. And I don't see why one tiny is just more defensive from a bingo standpoint, really, than another at this point. I guess the other one is slightly more defensive, because it's a bit of an easier lane to hit. But it's still early, and I don't want to give up five points. So I'm going to do this. Quackle plays Unroof. So we'll want to keep in mind that sets up a sneaky S-hook for the future. So definitely we'll have to watch out for Sunroof. And, yeah, what do I have here? Not a ton. Voila or Viola, maybe? Yeah, there isn't really a lot of options for overlapping at all on this board. Can't do much next to Unroof. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be scoring more than, like, 12 points here. So maybe just Voila and Opa? It does set up my H for Opa next turn, which is... Nice. I could also just play Ova or Oval. There are a lot of E's left, wow. Because I definitely do still want to be thinking in terms of bingo percentage. It's interesting, there are very few vowels other than E's left. There's only three A's, two I's, two O's, and two U's. So we're probably going to see an onslaught of E's later on. I'm mostly debating... Yeah, there's a bunch of plays that are kind of mediocre here. So what are my options? I have Viola or Voila. That scores 13. I could play Ova for 11, or Oval for 15. I could play... I guess I could play Halva. 16 points. That doesn't seem great. Yeah, everything is just kind of mediocre. A Veil doesn't really play anywhere. Yeah, I think if I play Ova, the L probably isn't worth four points to keep. So I think I'm between Ova and Viola. Probably Viola is better. It's two less, but AH is better than AHI, especially with all those E's to come. And it also gives me another shot at one of the S's or a blank. Or, yeah, I guess there's only one blank in scene, but still gives me... Another shot at one of those three tiles. So I think I'm slightly partial to Viola. I don't think it really matters Viola versus Voila. I guess Viola just is slightly easier to underlap, because the O is easier to underlap than the I, and I do have the H for Opa, so I probably have the edge at using that spot, so I'll play Viola. I mean, a very marginal consideration. I guess the one other play to consider is maybe How over here, making Odor. 14 points. Keeps A-I-L-V. I'm not a huge fan of that, though. Yeah, I'm going to stick to Viola. Quackle plays Vug, and I draw decently well here. I'm still up 60 points. The problem is there's two SX on completely other, or completely opposite sides of the board. There's Sunroof and Brainiacs, and I'm not going to be able to block both. So I might have to kind of concede that this board is going to stay open for a while, at least if he has an S. So I can score probably reasonably well with Opa. I don't really like Da keeping B-E-E-M. That's not a good leave. Maybe over here I can do something, though. I could play, like, Bend? It's not bad. How many points is that? 21. That's actually a pretty good score. I could also just play bed. 17. I don't know. Is the N worth 4 points? Probably not. Not sure, though. That's kind of close. Oh, how about a bed? That's probably the play. Yeah, that probably makes the most sense, actually. Because that score is just as much as bend. And H-E-N is a lot better than H-A-E. 
I actually wouldn't mind getting rid of both these because there's still so many left. But I don't think I have a great way to do that. Huh. Maybe... Yeah, I can't really do anything here because BIE isn't good. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Abed. Seems reasonable. And Quaggle does bingo with Pargaze and Brainiacs. So, using one of the two S-hooks. And I draw an X. So hopefully I can score reasonably with it. I do have Ilex here. That actually looks pretty good. Scores 25. Keeps K-H-E-N. Not a terrible leave. Yeah, I think that's got to be best. Quackle scores well with was. So it's a tight game. I'm only up 8. That sunroof spot is going to be key, and I can't really do anything about it at all. I mean, I could play... I guess I could play knee if I wanted to block really badly. Very risky, though. I mean, I'm not up a ton. That puts me up 22, keeping HHT, which is a very dicey lead. The thing is, if he bingos with Sunroof, the game is basically just over on the spot, because there's nowhere else to bingo. There's only six spaces over here next to Lit. So I either... It, I have to take a big risk either way. I either have to leave that open and play... I just don't have a lot of other good plays, though. I mean, like, if I don't play that, what am I doing? I guess heck. I guess that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's 20 points. That's a lot of equity to give up. And a much more balanced leave. I just worry with knee. I'm not up that much. And with HHT, I could run into a lot of trouble. I think I need to play heck and hope to just dodge a bullet for one more turn. And then maybe block next turn. Oh boy. So he bingos with relation. Interesting. So no S still for sunroof. And yeah, now what do I do? I... I kind of feel like I might need to bingo now to come back. I'm not sure. Can I make up 30 points without bingoing? Probably not with two S's and scoring tiles unseen. So, I don't know. I, I just feel like if I play Fed... What's that, 21? I'm still down 9. I, I don't have any scoring tiles. I think I need to bingo, but the thing is, if I play Fa, I kind of have to bingo through this V, which is going to be really tough to do. So, I kind of need to open something, but how? Huh. Thief? No, I don't know. I mean, RN is pretty bad. I just don't think I can win in the endgame with... He's probably got an S, and he'll be able to overlap with Hex and score pretty well, or Sunroof. I just don't see myself... Maybe refit. Just to keep the H for scoring. How many points is that? 22? 21. It's 21. Two in the bag? I mean, if I can draw one of the S's and some other good tiles, there's a chance I could maybe out in two and win, depending on what he does. Maybe. It's not likely. I'm going to need a very good draw. I do like leaving two in the bag, though, because it kind of forces him to empty, and then I'll have perfect endgame timing. And it does stop sunroof plays. But yeah, I just worry if he plays with Hex, then how am I going to win? Because I'll be... I'm down 9. If he plays something with Hex, he's probably going to be up 30. And even if he doesn't have an out, how do I... There's just nowhere for me to go. It's almost like I need to draw both S's to win after refit. So I don't really like that. I mean, maybe I should look at Thief a little more. 18. It 
does breathe some life into the left-hand side of the board. Like, I could bingo through that T. Yeah, it's probably better, and it scores 18, so maybe if he doesn't score well, it still preserves some possibilities of outrunning. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's going to be tough. But that's probably a more promising option than refit, I feel like. Because yeah, if I just play Fa, the thing is, I don't ever really hit through this V. I mean, I could draw reinvest, I guess. It's pretty unlikely. He could also just block. I mean, he probably won't. But I just don't think I'm likely enough to hit something there. Like, I'm probably more likely to win after Thief than by hitting Reinvest. And I'm going all in on bingoing with Fa, which I don't really want to do. <sighs> yeah, this is a really tricky play. There's just not a lot of good ways to open another line. And I hate getting rid of the E. But at least there are more unseen. I'm going to play Thief. Okay, so Quackle plays Y-E. He has Escadid and Sestoed. So, I don't think either play, though. That's the good news for me. 24-point deficit. It seems like it's going to be tough to make up that many points. Because, yeah, if I play with Hex... So if I play, like... Yeah, with what, though, actually? That's the thing. Like, I don't even know what I'm playing there. Because he, he's going to have plays for a bit. He can play CODs for 21. Yeah, I feel like I'm losing this. Because I don't see how I'm going to make up enough points by blocking. I mean, if I play, like... Him. That just doesn't. I just don't have enough vowels. Yeah, that's the real problem. I just don't have enough vowels. Yeah, I just don't know what I even have here that's going to let me go out. Minas doesn't work. Play ARS holding mini, but then he can just block mini. SYN doesn't even play. Huh. Mans? Nays? None of those plays have another out, though. Yeah, I might even be better off letting him play that. But I guess I guess the thing is, if I play here with Hex somewhere, what is, what can he do? He might just have to play... I guess he can still play Tex and Sunder. That's still a lot. T-E-C-S. It's still 19. That's not much less than Cod's. Yeah, I guess I can also play there. Not sure with what, though. It's too bad Minas doesn't fit. Yeah, I don't know what I really have there. Because, yeah, if, what if I play, like, Nans holding on to Myri? Then he can just block Myri, and I don't have another out. Dang it. I guess I could play my maybe Myri first. I mean, it's not going to win, but maybe it's my best end game. Because then at least I have Nans in two spots for a lot. But yeah, then he just plays Cods and Hex. Because yeah, let's see, nine points that gets me to within fifteen. He plays Cods and Hex for twenty-one. He's up thirty-six. I need thirty. Nans is not thirty. It's seventeen. I lose by thirteen. That's kind of close, actually. Huh. I just don't think I can quite do it. Army? N and S. Yeah, if I had like one fewer N or something, but I don't think this is going to do it either. 20 points. Yeah, no. Doesn't come close to doing it. Yeah, he's just got two high-scoring plays with his S. That's the thing. And I just... I have to go out in two for sure. Mans. Yeah, R and Y is not going out though, is it? Rays. M and N is not going to go out. Maze. No, R and N does not go out. Yeah, I just don't have anything that goes out other than Nans, I don't think, which is very annoying. 
Ryan's. <laughs> no. That would actually come close to winning if it were good, but it's not. If mine is fit there, that would be so nice. Yeah, I don't know. I I just don't think I can get enough points. I feel like Myrie is probably my best end game. I don't see anything else. I'll ask Champ, but let's do that. Yeah, he plays Docs, and I'm just gonna go out with Nans. And yeah, two ninety nine to three twelve. So I don't quite manage to break three hundred. He does. He wins. Um, good game though. It's really interesting. I. Can't help but wonder if my play of heck was wrong. I think I kind of just got burned with relation coming down. I just didn't think I could have afforded to play knee at that point. But here, let's ask Champ about this endgame. Uh, I assume Champ will be able to compute the endgame properly here. Okay, I made the best play. Yeah, either Myrie or Rhyme. So that makes me feel better. Uh, and yeah, again here, the problem, guys, is I clearly have to go out in two. If I don't go out in two, he scores way too many points. And with these two ends, it's deceptively hard for me to go out in two. And yeah, if I play Nans here, he can actually just block Myrie and save a play with Sunroof next turn. Yeah, Hims just doesn't score enough points, and Army doesn't go out in two if he blocks Inns. So, yeah, okay, that makes me feel better. I made the right endgame play. Thief was a really tough turn. Heck was a tough turn. Let's look at all those, but first let's go in order. Exchanging has to be right here, yeah. There's just nothing else to consider. I feel like Exchange 2 in this game, yeah, in this game it's definitely best. In a regular game, probably... Fang would be a little bit better. Maybe. I'm not even sure. FN trade is still not a bad idea. QI is clearly best here. Groaned is better than Organdy. So yeah, so far so good. Job. Yeah, that seems fine. Tiniest. I think this is my best spot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to not take the five points. Viola was a tricky turn. What did I... So likes this... Well, better by a tenth of an equity point. Didn't see Havoc. That's actually not bad. I might have played that because AIL, I think, bingoes slightly more than AH. I saw Oval and Ova. Yeah, these plays are all kind of close. Let's sim all these a little bit. I'm curious to see what happens if I sim these plays. So it is liking Viola so far. It's still very early, though. Oh, let me um, let me actually do a two-ply sim. Four-ply is probably... A bit too long. So yeah, let's try this. It'll go a bit faster too. So yeah, so far it is liking Viola. Interestingly, it's simming noticeably better than Voila by about a percent, which is not negligible, probably because of those overlaps I was mentioning. Yeah, I guess AH is a nice leave because it's a good balance between it could certainly still bingo, but it can also score well, which is good when I have a lead. So yeah, I guess actually Viola is a pretty good play here. So I'm happy with this one. How about a bed? Oh, or bait. Yeah, it doesn't actually really matter. I mean, yeah, there's no meaningful difference between these plays. That looks pretty good. I have a bunch of plays here that score around 20. I saw Baned as well, but I kind of like the end. There's only one end left, so it goes pretty well with my rack. Yeah, I think a bed is fine. Ilex has to be right. I mean, I guess I could have played... You know, maybe I should have considered this. I didn't actually think of... I saw this. I didn't give serious consideration to playing there, which does... Well, it doesn't entirely block Sunroof, because he could still have something ending in ES, but it mostly blocks that. It's actually an interesting idea. It doesn't really sacrifice that much in terms of equity. So, yeah, definitely playing Hex here I can't imagine makes sense, but let's, let's send these. I feel like Hex might be better with XU. The good thing is Quackle just bingoed, so Quackle isn't necessarily sitting on a good leaf or rack that's likely to bingo with Sunroof. And HKEN is definitely the best lead of these. It, KH goes really well together, it has good scoring potential. I save Heck for next turn as well, which is nice. So yeah, I think Ilex is still fine. Sim is liking it. Yeah, I wish I had considered this a little bit more. I'm not sure I would have done it. I would have probably come close. And then this turn really was tough. I mean, yeah, it's just so much better than everything else on equity. I'm going to sim it with me. I'm sure Heck is going to sim better. Or, yeah, okay. I mean, just because EHNT is so much better than HHT, and I score six more points. The thing is, like, if I were up another 20 points, I'd probably play me. But if I do this, I'm up... I'm not up a lot. I'm only up 22. Even in this game, that's not that much. 
And with HHT, if I pull a lot of consonants, then I could really be having some issues on my next turn unloading some garbage from my rack. So I just don't think I'm in a comfortable enough position to play knee. I almost did, and it would have worked out better, but I, I just don't think it's the right play. And then he bingos, and yet this turn was so hard, too. I, I saw refit, I saw f both placements of fe, and I saw fah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to sim all these, and then I'm going to ask champ, too, to see what champ comes up with. I feel like... Yeah, wow, this is a really tough turn. So far, Fett is coming ahead by a very slim margin. Well, actually, not the slimmest margin. It's a little bit surprising to me. I mean, it doesn't score much more than Thief. It only scores three more. And it must make it harder for me to bingo next turn. Like, INRT is a more well-developed leaf, but I have to bingo through the V, which is very unlikely to happen. And NR does at least give me some more chances at drawing the S's, which are going to be key for Hex and Sunroof. I don't know, I have a hard time believing Fet is better than Thief. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to ask Champ, because it's pretty late in the game. and let's, let's see if Champ can come up with anything. But yeah, I just feel like after Fet, I'm down 9, plus whatever he scores. He, he doesn't have to empty the bag either, because then there's still 4 left. If he plays a 3, goes up like 20 or 30, and I have no scoring tiles. I'm just like, how am I winning that game? It seems really hard to do. Like, I feel like I need to turn over more tiles for the S's and maybe scoring tiles. And Thief does give me some bingo chances through that T. Yeah, see, I just... Okay, yeah, Champ sort of... All right, Champ is being very weird here, yeah. It had Foz like 40%, and then it lagged, and now it's saying everything else other than these plays wins zero, which... Yeah, that, that can't be right. Uh, I, I don't know. But Champ is liking Fest still. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, again... I'm failing to see. I'm down 9 points. If if Quackle just scores reasonably well by playing 3 tiles, and I'm keeping 4-1 pointers, how am I coming back? I guess I'm having to hope that Quackle has like a ton of consonants. But like, why But why is Fess so much better than Thief? Thief only scores 3 less. It gives me more turnover for the S's. And it opens some more marginal lines with that T that could work well if I can draw a few vowels. And leaving two in the bag has to be better than leaving four in the bag for my endgame timing. So I don't know. I'm a little bit confused here. It's a really tough turn. I don't mind Thief, though. I think it's a reasonable play. Quackle just plays white. Wow, so it didn't have an S! Wow. I don't know. This seems like a... This is a tough turn, I guess. I can't believe Quackle didn't have an S. So... Quackle allows me to bingo out with Stramony if it draws an S. Wow. Yeah for 9 to block Stramony, maybe? I don't know. What a turn for Quackle, too, to have to deal with. I feel like Tire has to be better. Because it scores 2 more points than YE. And keeping 6 tiles is better because you'll be able to out in 2 more easily. And you'll just have fewer tiles left on your rack to deal with if I out him too. So I feel like Tire has to be better. But I don't know. And then Myri was my best endgame, or Rhymy. Yeah, wow, what a game. And then Docs and Nans. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I played great. Like, there were some tough turns. Ilex was tough. The last f turns 9 through 11 for me here were really tough. Ilex instead of Kex. Heck instead of Knee. And Thief instead of Fe. So I don't know. Really tough turns. I think I played well, though. Really good game. Yeah, once again, 299 to 312. Really, really interesting game strategically. Uh, and yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I uh, Yeah, in this game, I don't feel too bad about scoring 299 points. I mean, I still bingoed twice and feel like I played pretty well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. There you have it, guys. Um, I am going to definitely do more games like this in the future. So... Please keep the suggestions coming, and I will see you all soon for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.